What to do, YouTube? MJM for Life here, back again, bringing you another episode of Deck Build Brainstorming, but this time we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. But before that, let me briefly explain what's been going on. Um, I'm on spring break right now, just finished my finals, and uh, I'm going to be trying to upload at least um, daily, maybe even at the at the very least every other day, um, daily at the most. Um, and uh, also, I've been working on... Uh, um, I'm starting a new business and I'm working on trying to play overseas in Japan so I've been really really busy so sorry about the lack of uploads but um, I'm, I hope you guys can understand but anyway so now on to the deck build brainstorming what I'm gonna do is I've already built the deck and I'm, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is talk about the card that the deck is built around and then show you some show you the deck and then show you some clips of the deck in action so let's just get into it so that this deck is gonna be based around a card called to a Latin it's a level 8 fairy and its effect is um, when this when if you have two or more monsters um, before the start of a battle phase, and although all the monsters are destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card from your hand, and then you declare an, att uh, an attribute, or attribute, and destroy all monsters with that attribute. And your opponent cannot normal summon or special summon any monsters with that declared attribute. So this card is really, really good, and it can really, really lock down a lot of the decks in the meta, like Mermails, Fire Kings. Um, Sometimes even um, Dino Rabbits that really only play one type of attribute. Um, Mermails being Water, Fire Kings, or Fire Fists being obviously Fire, and um, other decks like that. Well, it really won't work against Light, though, because since this card is light, a Light monster, if you declare Light, it would destroy itself. But, um, or, I mean, well, not really Dark Worlds, because Dark Worlds can just discard a card to pop it, but, um, like, Insectors is another card that this can work, another deck that this can work really, well, really, really good against, and this is another way to lock down cards in the meta, that, um, and it's a card that nobody really knows about or nobody's really using or you're utilizing it to its full potential it also has 2800 attack so that's not i mean that's pretty good so i've just come up with a really deck real kick and i'm about to, real quick i'm about to get into it in a couple of seconds so here's the deck that I made uh, revolving around to a Latin. As um, this is a this is a very good card. Um, the deck I kind of made it. Uh, I, I haven't. Uh, I kind of made it like real quickly. So we'll get into the cards. One BLS, uh, triple card card D, um, one Chaos Sorcerer, um, one a Dark Arm Dragon, one Dark Mimic Level Three Tour Guide Target, triple Effect Veiler, one Gores, uh, two Maxi. Uh, one Knight Assailant, another Tour Guide target, and of course, two Tour Guide, um, two Trigodia, and then triple two Alatin. So now for spells, we have one Allure of Darkness, one Dark Hole, two Fires of Doomsday, uh, triple Forbidden Lance, that's to protect your two Alatin once it comes out, Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, triple Space Typhoon, Photon Sanctuary, uh, duality and jar of greed which actually works combos really well with um, car card D so extra deck we've got cataster armory arm black rose scrap dragon uh, stardust dragon and then level three rank three sorry levier leviathan giga brilliant uh, acid golem ten tempo and um, Zen mains, and then I really couldn't figure out what to put left, and I'll just briefly mouse over the uh, side deck which is kind of just thrown together um, basically the main um, function of this deck that right here is uh, use fire, Fires of Doomsday and Photon Sanctuary to special summon the tokens on your turn. Have your opponent attack over their tokens on their turn and then once those tokens are destroyed you can summon to a Latin and declare a type depending on what deck they're running and potentially shut them down completely from what they want to do so um, to a Latin is a, another kind of anti-meta card that works really well even against other anti-meta decks as you'll see in these clips that I have prepared for you guys so um, we're gonna get into those clips um, shortly and I hope you guys enjoy um, what's what's to come and I'll see you in a couple of seconds Alright, so this first duel is going to be against a Mermail player using Billy Brake's Mermail build. So there you go for the Abyss Steus and uh, discard Dragoons to start the shenanigans. So they're going to add Abyss Megalo and um, I think Marksman, I believe, with the uh, Abyss Steus effect. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what happens. Yeah, goes for the Marksman. And then it's going to set one, I believe, and then and then just going to end the turn. So now uh, my hand is okay, I guess. I'm going to go for a photon sanctuary, um, then set the jar of greed because I can go plus off that, and then hit space typhoon the um, whatever that back row is. Most likely a uh, a best sphere though, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to go for it just in case. Um, 
going to reveal Abyss Megalo next, and then he's going to um, discard two for the two special summons. So he um, goes for the Abyss Grund and then the uh, Marksman. So then you're going to get the um, Grund and Marksman effects. Um, Grund to add to special summon one from your graveyard. Marksman to pop a, a set card. He's going to target my Draw Greed, which is actually plus for me because um, now I can go plus one. It's not technically minus for them because um, normal are just that good. They're just good like that. Normally it would be minus. Like if they space type from the draw three, that's minus one for them. And um, so now we're just gonna go for um, Abyss Megalos effect to add the Abyss Sphere. So <clears throat> I, um, now what, what? I'm trying to remember what happens next. Uh, oh, discards uh, or tributes uh, Marksman for Megalos effect to attack twice. Um, and also now Marksman to target my set card. I'm gonna just hit that. Card. And luckily, it was actually a compulse, which um, actually you don't see that often in my mail. So um, now it's going to move the Abyss Deus into attack mode. Attack over my um, two tokens, which is perfect because I do have the um, two Alatin in my hand. So I'm going to attack one token, and uh, uh, this person tributing uh, Abyss Megalo or, or Marksman for Abyss Megalo's effect doesn't even matter because I can just special summon two Alatin from my hand to negate that second attack. And then call Water Monsters. And then, um, Marmels are kind of done. Oh, by the way, I'm dueling against uh, one of my friends on YouTube. Um, that's actually a friend at my college who actually likes to duel. She's, uh, he is using Maria's account, but um, he's helping me for the purpose of the video. Uh, we made a bunch of uh, top tier decks together, and then he, I play, told him to play against me using them. Uh, but like, uh, Obviously, um, after the first time playing against my deck, I was like, just pretend that you don't know what I'm playing. Uh, just for just because you know, just for this purpose, uh, just play like you have no idea what I'm doing. So, um, so he knew he once first like when he when he played against me with the mermails, he didn't know what I was playing. But afterwards, he didn't know what I was playing. But he pretended like he didn't know what I was playing because if you know what if you know what I'm playing, it's obvious that you can um, you can um, kind of like you, you you obviously wouldn't attack over my tokens or anything like that because you wouldn't want me to summon to a Latin and then shut your deck down. But obviously, I'm ranting. I uh, duality into a. Uh, to a um, Forbidden Land, so now he can't Dark Hole me. I know that set card is probably in, uh, is is Abyss Sphere, so he can't you, he can't use that because he can't normal or special. He can't special summon uh, Water Monsters, which his entire deck is Water Monsters. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty much good game from here, because um, the only thing in that that he has to come out of that he has that can come out of this in his deck is Dark Hole. So and he can't use that because of the Lance, as I said earlier. So I mean, to a Latin just Rex Mermails if you can get it off. Once, once you can get it off, call Water Monsters. There's nothing they can do from this. And you know, the great thing about it is that um, because it has 2800 attack, even if they have Abyss Gyos on the field, you can still um, use use its effect to blow up everything. And you know, I'm um, here. He tried. He uh, He space typhoons my one of my back row. I call. Um, I chain it. It's Forbidden Lance, and uh, he's upset because he did draw into Dark Hole that turn. So um, his only out. <laughs> he drew into his only out, and it didn't even help him. So this is an example. And uh, now we're gonna go into the next deck. So this is, uh, um, I think I was playing uh, Fire Fist, Fire Kings, I believe, and um, so I, I, I opened up Card Card D plus Jar of Greed, which is really good because um, Card Card D, as you know, as soon as you activate its effect, it goes straight to the end phase, so you need to set a card in, in the back to um, prevent yourself from having to discard. So uh, what I like to do is Card Card D and draw, then set Jar of Greed, so if they Space Typhoon, it's actually minus for them because I go plus one off the... Off the um, off the Jar of Greed and they go minus one because they used the card and didn't, didn't got nothing out of it. So I really that's why that's why Jar of Greed is in this game uh, because it combos well with Card Card D turn one. It's really amazing. But unfortunately for me, I Card Card D into Card Card D. So probably the worst thing you can Card Card D into. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I kind I do have everything I need. I need and uh, he does reveal that he's playing the uh, Fire uh, Fire Fists. Goes for Monkey. Then goes for Tensu, then goes for Bear. So uh, I'm going to take a lot of damage here. He's going to go for the Monkey Effect. Send um, Ten... What is it? Tenki? And then I'm going to, again, chain the e Draw Greed. So it's kind of minus um, for him. Uh, but not really, though. Um, so now he's going to attack for with Bear for 1600. I actually typed in 1600 in the wrong place. Um, so attack for Bear for 1600, attack with Monkey for 1600, get the Bear Effect. Bear into Tanky, and I'm kind of ahead of myself, but you know, I mean, you guys, if you guys played Fire Fist or you, if you play it or you play against it, you kind of know the drill. But I believe that this was the um, Fire Kings Fire Fists um, um, combo variant that uh, this person was playing. So I was I was debating on Maxine, but I really figured like it wasn't 
uh, it wasn't really worth it. Just it was just going to be a one for one anyway. <laughs> and uh, and I just wanted to see what he would. Um, and now there was no guarantee that he's going to overlay in the first place, but he does overlay it and, and sets another tanky. So that that right there kind of let me know that he was playing the Fire Kings variant because um, usually if you're mixing up with the Fire Kings, you have onslaughts and circles, so you don't really have the uh, the traps. So th this um, on this turn, um, I activate Photon Sanctuary, and then I set the. Um, the uh, car card D because I didn't want him to bear and then pop one of my uh, tokens and then just attack over one of them so that way I wouldn't be able to drop to a latin on that turn so he's gonna go for tanky I'm gonna say no to that space typhoon that so he doesn't get the search and then um, he's gonna go for a bear anyway so my fears have been realized he's gonna go for the bear which is actually perfect for me because now he can pop one of my cards and I'll still have at least two monsters which is all that I need for two elections effect which is probably what he'll do he'll probably he, he bear pops my face down which would be would be smart if it wasn't a card card dude so didn't really matter at this point but it probably would make the most sense to attack the face down um, with the effects so and now he's gonna attack over one token get the bear effect to wait actually you not he's not supposed to search right there uh, and I actually didn't. I didn't even catch that until just now. Um, he actually, he's supposed to. It's only when it inflicts battle damage. So he actually wasn't supposed to get the search right there. It didn't really matter in the long run of the game because I'm gonna drop two Latin uh, call fire monsters, and um, that's gonna be that. So uh, I'm gonna destroy um, everything on his field. Uh, he will get the Barong effect next standby phase, but there's not much he can do with it anyway. So he can't normal summon or special summon. So it's all good. So um, set two, which was very. Um, very scary for me, um, but I know that since he's probably since he's playing the fire fit or fire fist fire kings variant, uh, it's probably those are probably like they might be torrentials. And I, I was kind of thinking that uh, one of them was definitely a torrential in my mind, um, or they could be bluffs. But I was thinking if they're anything, they're probably torrentials. If they're bottomlesses or like solemns, I can kind of um, draw that out. If it's a mirror force, my plan was just to go for Zen mains, um, just to uh, just so that I could survive. And, uh, move to a Latin to defense, so that way, even if you mirror force me, you're not going to get over to a Latin. So, um, if it's a D prison, then I'll draw that out as well. So, I had a plan. I was going to go for Tour Guy just to see what those traps were. And um, I, I was just debating on going for Night Assailant or Dark Mimic. Um, <laughs> didn't really matter. I don't know why it took me so long to just click Night Assailant. And here, uh, I think he was thinking uh, um, about what he wanted to do, um, which is why nothing's happening at the current moment. And uh, I think eventually he does go for the Torrential, and then I'm obviously going to chain Lance onto a Latin to uh, keep the lock so that he can't summon any fire monsters. But yep, now he goes for the Torrential. I'm going to chain Lance, and um, I'm going to Lance to a Latin. So Tour Guide and the Knight Assailant can go to the graveyard. Um, now at this point, um, it is unfortunate that he, that he did um, have the uh, Torrential, and uh, because now, I, I mean, I kind of had to Wasteland, so if he top decks Dark Hole right here, then he'll be free to uh, summon as many Fire Monsters as he wants, but looks like he didn't do that, so now I'm going to attack over whatever that set card is. Uh, looks like it's a Barong, so end turn. So basically, um, he has to get, it's Dark Hole or nothing at this point for him, and if, as long as I pull into a Forbidden Lance, um, I should be okay. So it looks like that, that other back row that I don't know is... Um, might, might be like a dead card, like a Solemn or a Bottomless or something like that. Um, and he probably drew into like a Garunix right there, which is why he couldn't summon anything. So attack him for 28 again. And then uh, end my turn. And again, as long as he doesn't pull in a Dark Hole, I should be okay. So now I draw on a Trag, so even if he does pull in a Dark Hole, still have a chance because I have Trag. I'm going to set uh, Fires of Doomsday, then Normal Summon <laughs> um, Maxi for the lulls. I'm going to get that 500 in. And then I'm um, gonna end my turn, and it, again, dark hole or nothing here. And but I still have protection. He's gonna space typhoon um, for I mean, kind of fruitless in his endeavors in that point in that aspect. And uh, I gotta draw greed. Doesn't matter because he has nothing, so that's gonna be the game. So that's an example of two Latin destroying another meta deck, Fire Kings and Fire Fist. Both cannot handle two Latin once it hits the field unless they have dark hole. And now we get into the next duel. Uh, okay, so this duel is against Evil Swarm. This is actually game two. Um, I got completely demolished game one because first turn Ophion, I mean, a lot of decks can't handle that. This deck especially can't handle that. Um, again, this is what I was talking about right here. They space Typhoon your back row. You chain the um, Jar of Greed. Now they they just went minus one. So now he's going to go uh, Rabbit, and because I draw Greed into Maxi, going to chain that Maxi so I can get another card. Um, 
So he's going to go for the, um, the Heliotrope, I believe that's what it's called. And again, he's pretending like he doesn't know my deck. So if he did know my deck, he would just go straight for Ophion there. But since he's pretending like he doesn't know my deck, um, he's obviously, he obviously is going to, he's going to opt to attack my tokens and then go for Ophion, because why not? And now I'm going to go for to a Latin called Dark Monsters, and now it's kind of game over. Um, I am fearing the back row because I know Evil Swarms do play a lot of back row, but I did pull into uh, another MST. I think I pulled into one off the um, off the Max C, and then another one just off, straight off the top of my deck, which is really good for me because now that his field is completely free, or empty, I should say. And um, if you guys know anything about Evil Swarms, you know they're like the worst top decking deck ever. And um, especially after you've gone for the Rabbit play and you're not playing any other normal monsters, even Rabbit is a dead draw. So I'm gonna do Space Typhoon that because I don't want it to be anything. Ends up being a Space Typhoon. Now I'm going to go for the Photon Sanctuary. Uh, the great thing about these tokens is that they do have attack power. So if they survive a turn, um, you can um, still get some uh, damage in. And um, at this point, um, I was like, you know what? No fear. I'm going to sack two for Gores. I don't even care. <laughs> and um, um, at this point, I know he has nothing, and I don't even care. I'm just going to attack. No fear. No. And uh, he was telling me that he didn't have anything. So I was like, good game, bro. But and. Um, so uh, as you can see, this is a couple examples of Tua Latin just wrecking certain decks. Now, obviously, um, it wouldn't work against decks that use multiple uh, attribute monsters, kind of like uh, like the elemental dragons that are out right now. But a lot of the decks in the meta only use one attribute. So um, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys liked and enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And if there's anything else or any cards you think I should add to the deck, feel free to leave a comment in the sections below. And uh, with that, I'm out of here. Deuces.